Perfect. Well, hi everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, new hair who this Carrington, period. <laughs> Do you know what? I've been told by three people, stop saying period, no period um so guys i just got my hair done today i'm feeling all kind of brand and new i love my hair done it's so like ah! so anywho this is a highly requested video maybe requested by one person but in my books that is highly requested so today's video is a five things you should consider my car talk five things you should oh, why 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 five things you should consider before buying a car i'm gonna go through them so like all jokes aside cars buying having a car is so convenient like having my car for these last four months has been the most convenient thing ever like it's ridiculous the way i never knew well i knew i needed a car but i never realized how much I need a car. Like, even going to get my hair done, Mary lives in OT, and I used to trek on train long, long, bruv, long. And now I just hop in my Virgil Zero, period, and I get there in like 20 ish minutes. Here's the first thing you should consider before buying a car. So, insurance. Insurance, insurance, insurance. No one wants to pay it, yeah, but. It's a thing where you have to kind of do it. I was lucky enough to be given £1,000 by my dad. And I put that down, slapped it on the insurance, and it went down. Oh, and then I put towards £400. So my insurance for my age was, and my sister's on this insurance as well, was £2,900. Myth. Myth. Absolute myth. Okay, so... I was looking at insurance on Compare the Market and Meerkat and Confuse, all of them like typical typical websites there. And the insurance prices were crazy. They were like 3K, 4.5K, myth. And they were with a black box. Myth. Listen, I like speed. I love a bit of speed. I'm not sitting in the black box. I'm not. I'm, I'm just not. It's not for me, man. I'm not doing it. I called um, Churchill Insurance, who are my insurer, insurers, and I was like, sis, what do you have for me with no black box? I mean, if I did have a black box, my insurance now would probably be like £60, but it's just the, in the long run, do I want to be going at a 30 in a 30? If you're my mum, I do go a pay. If you're my mates, you know how I be driving on these streets, period. One thing I would say is that I kind of wish I did save up enough money to pay off my insurance at once. Despite having the 1.4K, yeah, it's just a thing that you don't want to worry about. Like, I've got my phone bill to pay, my finance and insurance. I don't want to be worrying about another thing. So I think definitely next time, for next year, I'm going to pay off my insurance in one because it is so annoying my insurance came the other day 103 pounds well i was like why why i want to buy drip joke okay <laughs> so that's the first thing you need to consider insurance i would definitely recommend you guys save up your money and put it down like that and also more time things aren't even gonna happen to you okay touch wood whatever but like i've been driving people have been driving for years and they have crashes and yet they're still paying to be insured so it kind of is a cash loss but i guess it's just like just the security to know that if something happens you are covered although if something does happen and you do report to insurance and you're young just know you're gonna be sitting on a bad boy piece of not information bad boy piece of what well, a bad boy a bad boy piece of bill yeah for next year your insurance will be high no sir second thing parking tickets parking tickets yeah i hate parking inspectors yeah whatever they are called bottom barrel why what why why would you want that job why I just, i'm vexed i've had in four months i've had three parking tickets and that's not bad but it's just the principle the first time i got a parking ticket i paid to park it was just that i was in the wrong bay okay yeah whatever ha 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 jokes on me i didn't read it properly but i paid to park that was 60 pound i didn't want to pay that i didn't want to pay that just consider these things guys like 
if you're going to visit someone, oh, can you park there? That's the one thing. If I'm going out with my friends, I'm like, but is there parking though? Because more time I'm going to drive. I'm not. I do get trained now for uni, but more time I'm going to try to drive everywhere possible. And I don't want to be going somewhere and then what? There's no parking till 6 30 and we get that 3 3 30 pm. No. And like, Parking tickets are one thing. If you don't pay them, they're going to email you or send you a letter three weeks later, outstanding PCN or what it's called, and they're going to, like, put it up by 100 odd, pa- 100 odd pound. Myth. So, another thing I would say, consider parking tickets. That is just... Mm, consider that because no one wants to be paying parking tickets. Even when my sister gets parking tickets, like, oh. and in the theory test, it does... I think in the theory test, I'm sure, it does show you where you can park on, like, those, like, um, the road signs. That's part of the theory. Take that into consideration and read it because you don't want to be buying a car and you don't know where you can park. Double yellow lines, red lines, single yellow lines. You've got to know that. So don't be getting yourself into none of that mix-up. I, I try to stay away from parking mix-up as possible, as as much as possible, although I'm currently parked right somewhere and I've, I've got to be looking around because, honey, they're trying to catch me. <laughs> Okay, parking tickets. That's the second thing to consider before you buy a car. Third thing, damages and accidents. Let me let me set the scene for you guys. So I was driving that da- I was riding around town. <laughs> I was driving down the road, guys, and I was doing I think a 25 and a 20. So I wasn't going too fast, but a little fast. And I hit my wheel and it popped myth blood in my eyes i actually I, the thing is why am i being so exaggerated i was not angry i was like oh i popped my tire like that's what i get for like driving a little fast so i went to the tire shop and they fixed it it was 30 pound and he charged me 30 <laughs> obviously you know nothing in this life but you never know when there might be a day where you pop your tire your windmill wind mirror gets like crushed off or some rubbish like that and it's going to be an expense you don't want to have a car and you can't afford to fix like tires um clutch brakes mirrors anything that's why i would say before you get your car not like not like i'm saying oh get your car save 10 bags and have that as your like rainy day car money just be sure that if something happens to your car you can afford to fix it then and there because you don't want to have a pop tire and it's pop for three weeks because so you can't afford it do you know what i mean so that's something you need to consider i'll insert my my pop-up tire because it did rock it did rock off and i had to get a new one it all got fixed within like 35 30 45 minutes but it's still the principle i didn't want to pay it well i kind of had to pay it because i was going out i couldn't do you know cars are expensive to run but fun to have <laughs> like no cap and I was literally driving down Olcott Road and I heard boom, boom. okay it wasn't like that but you know like I heard my tire on its knees it was shaking man okay fourth thing maintenance car washes um things like that like it's real out in these streets sis when I first got my car I was washing my car twice a month and that's just because I love the fresh look, the fresh smell, the clean carpets, everything clean, nice. Mm, mm, mm. But since it's been raining a lot, I'm like, I can't be bothered to be getting a car wash and it's going to rain tomorrow. Then it'll rain five minutes after I wash it. However, car washes aren't just for the outside, it's for the inside as well. You're going to be spending majority of your time inside your car, not outside. And you want to be sitting in something comfortable and nice and clean. £12 car washes, that's £24 a month yeah times that by 12 i don't know how much money that is but i could have bought a decent pair of shoes with that do you know what i mean <laughs> my car sustains petrol but it's just like oh petrol's long one thing i did do and sometimes i still do is i fill my tank to the top and that will last me about a week and a half depending on how much i drive because i do drive a lot to fill up my tank in this car my car is a 1.2 liter to fill up my tank is about 25 pound the maximum i spent on filling this tank is i think is like 28 and that's from empty i try to never keep my car in empty because i'm i'm not living in the hood don't be like far and you don't know where you are and you're on low on petrol so that's another thing to consider, like car washes, petrols. Huh. 
the list doesn't end. Cars are so expensive to run, but so fun to have. £50 on um, petrol a month, and then £24 on car washes. Do the maths, guys. It adds up little by little. But do you want to be spending these little cheeky £12, little £10, £5 petrol? If you don't, maybe getting a car is not best for you at the moment. Finance. How can I not mention finance? So my car is not bought outright. I did not buy it outright. I just said it twice. I didn't buy... Okay, third time. I didn't buy it outright, guys. I have it on finance and I pay... Oh! Before I tell you guys how much I pay, please be aware that you might not... If you can't buy a car outright and you want a kind of newer plate car or you don't want a new plate car, you just want to... And you can't buy it outright or whatever... Please consider that you might not be able to take out the car yourself. I wasn't able to take out my car myself. I had to get my sister to insure it, no, finance it for me because obviously I'm fresh, eight, well, not fresh 18 anymore, but I'm 18. I might not be the best person with the most amazing, like, history of credit and I can't take out a car myself. So do consider that if you're trying to get a car, some finance companies will reject you it's not because they think you're broke it's just because you don't have enough history to prove that you can upkeep the payments you can get a car on finance and put down no deposit or like 100 150 a grand 1.5 so what i did during lockdown i saved a grand and i put down 400 on my insurance as i said and i put down 600 on my finance so my finance is a bit more expensive than my um insurance my finance is a hunt is 227 pound per month compared to my insurance which is only 100 so you do see the do you know what i mean i suppose if i did put down more money which in hindsight i kind of wish i did but i'm not that bothered like <laughs> i kind of wish i did but it is what it is do you know what i mean so do consider that i'm gonna be paying finance and i'm gonna have to put down a deposit and another thing is can you upkeep the payments same with like car washes and and insurance and like random like mishaps to your car can you afford it i used to work about three days a week consistently occasionally more than three and now because of uni and whatever i work two i can still afford my car but it's just like i won't have as like much money for myself although sis don't get me twisted i have peas <laughs> like that like if you lose your job are you going to keep up your finance and if you can't keep your finance we have someone there to help you if you lose your job or like you work less hours is that still sustainable for you to run a car eat um like have a life although we can't have a life because we're on lockdown again <laughs> do you know what i mean it's things like that like you just have to put it into consideration cool so imagine i I pay £227 for my finance per month and £103 for my insurance. That is what, I don't know, I'll put it somewhere on the screen I'm not working out right now. If I lose my job tomorrow, how am I going to pay it? Is it best to buy a car outright rather than financing it if you can't keep up the payments if your situation changes? It's just it's just these little things that come with buying a car that seem all fun to the game on Snapchat or on Instagram and TikTok or whatever. But it's the, the thing behind it is consider th these things before you buy a car and even before you do your test okay yeah drive learn how to drive is a, a thing that you can learn when you're 18 and not buy a car to your 30 because it's something you just it's just a good skill to have do you know what i mean but buying a car is something that you're gonna have at this moment and at this moment can you afford it you could have done your test and passed six months ago i've never driven since but you when you turn 20 you can do you know i hope i'm making sense i, I wanted an audi a1 for my first car such a beautiful car and i also wanted the 500 don't get me wrong i wanted the 500 this or the audi and then when i was comparing my insurance i said to myself it makes more sense to go for the 500 because i can get a newer plate and my shots be like 200 300 pound more cheaper if it makes sense and I don't want to be offered a black box. Shop around for your insurance because the company before Churchill, um, I think it was, yeah, it was co-op, they were telling me madness. They were like, I can't brake hard, accelerate hard. I can't um, go out past 11 p.m. And there's so much I can't do. And then every day I've got to log on to their app and check that I'm being a good driver. 
no one's gonna hold me on bondage like that i'm not in a new lesson anymore i'm gonna do what i want when i want in my car so shop around for your insurance defo and don't let these insurance companies take the mickey, mickey out of you just because you're young that's not cool like people take oh ageism is so real car companies will take the mickey out of you because you're young that is just like it's not it i hope i haven't left anything out everyone i feel like i've been talking really fast and really loud but i feel like it's been very informative do you know what i mean so in that light i am done um thank you guys for watching my youtube channel once again the angle looks crooked as hell thank you guys for watching my youtube channel i hope you did enjoy i am trying to be consistent again so thanks guys for watching please like comment subscribe Bye, yeah.